Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about McDonald's stocks. So this is a stock that a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on, and they posted earnings uh, at the end of April. So I think it's about time to take a look at McDonald's stock a bit closer. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of reasons why I personally don't invest in McDonald's stock. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button if you enjoy my content and hit the subscribe button where I post uh, stock market videos every day on this channel. So be sure to receive more updates so let's take a quick overview of McDonald's pretty straightforward guys it's the largest restaurant chain in the world cap of 134 billion dollars uh, PE ratio of 23 that's price over earnings and a 2.8 percent dividend yield so if you take a look at the chart this is one of the many stocks that has been affected by the whole coronavirus crisis and I think a lot of people are wondering if this stock is a decent um, buy you know, recently after the earnings report. So first I wanna just give you guys a quick overview of the company and then let's get into that earnings report. So we just did the out these earnings. Okay, so uh, earnings was pretty bad. Uh, so CNBC reported that McDonald's earnings uh, fall, fell 17% as coronavirus leads to restaurant closures and plunging sales. So it says McDonald's said in, in early April 3rd that same store sales fell 3.4% during the first three months of the year and earnings fell 17% too, and the company withdrew its outlook. So this is probably one of the reasons why I didn't post um, McDonald's on my recession proof stocks list. And I, and I know some of you guys out there, you guys commented saying, asking me why I didn't. And this is one of the reasons why I think McDonald's has peaked as a restaurant chain. I'm gonna explain more of that later on in the video, but right now I just wanna focus on the earnings. So as you can see here, uh, the CEO said, it's really a country by country situation. Sales trends are showing signs of improvement in some markets like the US, but executives expect steeper global same store sales declines in the second quarter than in March. So if we take a look at some of the numbers, a uh, dollar and 47 cents per share and 4.7 billion in revenue so the problem that i have personally with mcdonald's and we're going to talk a lot more about this is two numbers so same stale same store sales growth and revenue so as we take a look here we take a look at the the chart here um you know mcdonald's it just experienced a negative same store sales growth rates and that makes sense simply because of you know the pandemic and things like that but i think that even when things open up in general, I think this is going to kind of change how people uh, go to restaurants anyway. And one of the problems with only restaurant stocks is simply that it's really not um, like a basic need, like going to the grocery store. So we don't really know how long social distancing is going to last. A lot of people might not feel comfortable eating around a lot of strangers at a place like McDonald's, which is usually well known for being packed with people and just, you know, uh, not a lot of space to move around. So as you can see here, it says in the U.S. quarterly same store sales were nearly flat after March same store sales pl plunged. 13.4%. The company made tweaks to its U.S. menu, including pulling all-day breakfast to simplify operations. So, guys, the, the McDonald's has been, uh, I think, in kind of a little bit of a tailspin for a while. They've always had strong same-store sales, but their actual revenue has been actually declining over the last couple of years. And I think the revenue is simply declining basically because uh, consumers' habits are changing a bit. And I don't think McDonald's has fully adapted to the way that people consume food now. So as you guys take a look, I'm on matrotrends.net. This is a really great site for kind of looking at re overall revenue. So as you can see here, trailing 12 months revenue of McDonald's has been declining for years actually. And if we take a closer look, we can see that the revenue has basically declined every year since 2013. So 28 billion, 27, 25, 20. So this is one of the reasons why I personally don't own McDonald's stock. I just think um, they have peaked a little bit. And you know, me personally, actually had my first birthday at McDonald's and I haven't eaten at McDonald's in, it's been a long time. It's been almost years. So uh, you know, I like to invest in companies that I actually frequent myself. And McDonald's is just not one of them. So McDonald's also, also withdrew its 2020 outlook and long-term forecast. 
citing the uncertainty related to coronavirus pandemic as impact on the economy. So guys, let's take a look at that actual quarterly release and let's look at some of their balance sheet and things like that because there are some things I do like about me. We are, we're on the Q1 release. You guys can find this. You go to McDonald's corporate site and go to their investor relations section. So basically the numbers that we're really looking at here is we're looking at the, the earnings per share, per share has decreased, revenue has decreased, and they've suspended their share repurchase programming. Uh, you know, share repurchase things that companies do to return value to shareholders, and a lot of companies have suspended that, except for very, very strong companies like Apple, who have actually increased their share buybacks. But if we take a look here, we look a little bit deeper into the numbers, we can see that new has been, you know, it's really been declining with McDonald's, and that's what I'm a bit worried about when it comes to investing in McDonald's if the company has actually peaked perhaps they have too many restaurant locations and perhaps people's uh, appetite have changed maybe they're not interested so much in processed fast food they're looking for more healthier alternatives um you know there seems to be a new movement with the whole with the whole beyond meat and things like that and plant-based burgers and stuff we just wonder um how how can McDonald's continue to grow in the future? And that's what I'm looking for from a stock. I mean, McDonald's is definitely a mature company and things like that. And I'm going to show you guys some of the more trailing uh, compounded annual growth numbers. But, you know, for me, I think I just I don't see the point of owning a stock like McDonald's when I can get something that's a little bit more consistent, like Walmart, where I know people aren't going to stop going to Walmart. Whereas a company like McDonald's, there are some risks here if the revenue continues to decline and, and, and millennials basically eating habits change. You know, that's one of the things I think McDonald's has to address with the declining revenue. And as we can see here, um, you know, net income is declining. Um, you know, I just don't know. I don't. I just don't know what McDonald's is kind of kind of do to fix. You know, seven straight years of declining revenue. I don't. You know, obviously, I'm not an expert in the restaurant business, and I can't give them, I can't give you guys the exact answers on how to change the revenue. But if I were running McDonald's, I would probably try to embrace, I would say, you know, online delivery more, and uh, you know, tweak the menu a bit. You know, maybe it's time to kind of revamp their menu and and add more options, try to bring in more people, because one of the things I've noticed is is that there are a lot of kind of international chains that are taking a lot of uh, McDonald's business from them. And if you, you know, you go out to most, if you go out to other countries, a lot of countries have basically copied McDonald's and offered their own local McDonald's. And then you've got Wendy's and Burger King, and then you've got all of, you know, Uber delivering food and all these local restaurants are online. That's taking a lot of money out of McDonald's pocket because now the consumer has so many different choices on their smartphone. Whereas maybe five or 10 years ago when you were hungry at night, you just went to McDonald's. So guys, let's check out that chart and I'll give you guys uh, some more information on the compounding annual growth returns and where I think this stock is headed. Uh, in the right. So if we take a look at a long-term chart of McDonald's stock, we can see that the stock has already double topped, which is a bearish signal. So it hit it, it hit resistance twice at around $220, which I think is far too much money for McDonald's stock. Seeing is that the sales are probably going to be on the downtrend since they've been like that since 2013. I wouldn't see why the whole coronavirus situation with social distancing would make any difference. And as you can see here, after the company released earnings, the stock has fallen as well. So a lot of investors have kind of just gotten out of the way of this company in the short run uh, because there are some challenges ahead, I would say. And, uh, you know, social distancing is bad for a business like McDonald's, a, a company that was already struggling to increase revenue. And now the stock is down off earnings, although it has kind of bottom out at $176. But I'm not all against McDonald's. There are some very nice things about McDonald's. And the main things that I like about McDonald's are the return on invested capital and how McDonald's return dividends to shareholders. So if we take a quick look at those numbers, those are a couple of things that I think McDonald's does very, very well. And you guys can check out all this information on TradingView. This is the site that I use for the majority of my videos when I'm doing research and things like that. So as you can see, your return on capital is about 18%, which is slightly under the 20%. That's kind of like the return on invested capital. That's like the Buffett uh, ratio that you want to shoot for, but it's close enough, 19, 20%. And uh, last year they returned $3.5 billion to shareholders in the form of 
dividends. So guys, you know, McDonald's is definitely a stock. You can definitely do a lot worse than it. Just for me, I try to stay away from stocks that have a declining revenue, multi-year declining revenue, because I think that there's a sign that the customer and the consumer is going elsewhere and kind of spending their money elsewhere, whereas most companies should be increasing their uh, revenue at least over the, on average, over, you know, three-year periods and things like that. So the fact that McDonald's revenue is going down, even though I know they've been selling off some of their franchises, it is a bit alarming for me but I still think that it's a solid stock you're not gonna go wrong with this stock uh, if you own it in say something like a, a retirement portfolio is probably be the best place for it and I'm gonna show you guys those uh, compound annual growth numbers to give you guys an idea of what kind of gains you can expect on average from McDonald's as long as the business doesn't collapse I mean it is the largest restaurant in the world so that definitely gives it some staying power okay so as you see here on Morningstar take a look at those trailing returns so around 14% uh, I'm sorry, around, yeah, 14% over compounded annual growth returns over the last 15 years, plus around a 2% dividend. So you're getting around 16 to 17% annual return over the long run. Now, obviously, the past is not indicative of the future, but uh, I think McDonald's, even though the revenue is declining, the business is stable enough. They still have plenty of locations all over the world, and you got to eat. So I think it's a pretty safe stock. And the last thing to close out on McDonald's stock. Okay, and to wrap things up about McDonald's, one of the nice things is that it is a member of the S&P 500 dividend uh, index, meaning stocks that have paid and increased their dividend for 25 consecutive years. So they have 44, 43 years of dividend. Dollar guys, so I think McDonald's, although it is not probably going to own in your growth portfolio, is an excellent stock to own in your retirement in a dividend portfolio. Uh, you know, very interesting stock, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this. Okay, thank you guys for watching and smash that uh like button if you enjoyed this video and, and hit that red subscribe button for more video updates. I'm going to be covering more videos on McDonald's stock in the future, covering their earnings and seeing if they can fix this declining revenue problem and get back to where the golden arches uh, should be. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care.